Look at you little chickens. I know. Huge. Oh, I know. Okay, well this is Dave. This is going up over both again. Some of this stuff is pretty important on TBI bikes and TPI bikes. Understanding some of these sensors and how they can radically affect your bike's running and possible problems that it can cause you. This is about these crankcase pressure sensors and I want you to understand basically how they work. It's very simple, but I want to show you uh, on a dyno run how when it was starting to go out, how it started to change the air fuel and change the power and how that could affect you. Now you have two of them on these bikes. One of them is back up into the air box and that's more of a barometric one. So when you're changing elevation, that one's working. You can go from 10,000 feet to sea level. That's picking up that input and feeding it in to the computer. This one, however, is constantly monitoring the running aspects of the engine, like an O2 sensor would be in your four-stroke, where it's constantly monitoring how the engine is burning and changes are being made in the ECU to try to keep the engine burning at where the manufacturer wants, usually around 14.7 to one air fuel ratio. And since this one here goes directly into this port, the pressure in the motor, too high, too little, the pressure gets picked up by this sensor, which is basically just a membrane that flexes, that turns the pressure into an electrical signal that goes back to your ECU. And you only have a certain range. It gets too far out that range, the bike won't run. In fact, if it gets too lean, I could take this thing when I was building this little billet uh, crankcase pressure sensor holder here to avoid issues with these things because they like to leak where your stock pressure sensor goes into your flexible little rubber hose. It's a big area for leaks and awkward running problems. But if I took this and I moved it this far away, uh, it would radically change the pressure that this thing picks up. And the bike would actually become so lean that it wouldn't even start. I could take it and move it closer. I could have changed the passageways in here quite a bit. And I did do that stuff. I had to, to get it narrowed down to where it was identical to what the stock one was to not cause issues. I can make it too rich. I could make it too lean, little lean, little rich. This is now set the same as stock. Um, but yeah, very good thing to keep in mind. If you lost something like a crank seal, you might have given this enough of a spike to where you've blown this and you would probably want to replace it. If this thing goes out, if it gets too coated with oil on the membrane, too much fuel, it could clog that thing up. Things aren't working very well. It's moving too slow. It's not breathing or flexing correct. You will get awkward, very awkward um, signals. You could go to it and it could make it go rich or lean. So. I'm going to show you this dyno thing real quick and I was goofing around one day but all of a sudden the power started to change a little bit but I really hadn't done anything. That's the weird stuff. I was just monkeying around with gas and so forth and doing some things. Hadn't changed anything really and the bike started to do this. So let's take a look at this guy. You can see the power changed a little bit. But what's more important is the red and the orange line underneath. In fact, I'm going to put my finger up here. So here's your power. Here's your red and orange line. On this particular one, it had actually leaned out. And when it leaned out, the red line is a bit leaner. You can see how it lost power. And this happened for absolutely no reason. Sometimes I've had them go the other way, go richer. If it goes richer, well, then you have a chance of failing a plug for absolutely no reason. I replaced the sensor, everything came back to normal. So that's good information to keep in your mental factory. If you have an issue, if you have a leak, if it goes out, even if you do start to develop the leak in this area, anywhere, we had them in the base gaskets, various things, well, it can make it run lean, it can make it run rich. If you start to 
detonate, don't pull as well, you'd know why. If you start to foul a plug one day for no reason, you might know why. The power changed 